okay now we'll talk about reproductive health okay see when we say healthy or whenever we are talking about uh, any individual any person that the person is healthy when we say the person is healthy what does it mean children that the person is totally fit physically mentally isn't it see this is a very basic thing that the person is fit physically and mentally but you know uh, when a person when we talk when we say in detail like when we are uh, discussing about the health of a person then there are certain other issues also there are certain other aspects also which need to be taken care of like what can be the other point see uh, what are the reasons which give frustration in life what are the reasons which can give uh, you know which can disturb a person so first of all when the person is not uh, in a good mental condition isn't it mental stress is there so what are the reasons of the mental stress uh, maybe uh, the relationship the social relationship isn't it social relationship is very big aspect if the person is having a good social term social uh, relationship is good a person is healthy isn't it he feel happy if a person shares if a person has good personal terms okay the family terms the family bonding is strong again the person will be happy and confidence confident i'm so sorry confident okay now uh, if a person okay if a person is financially see that is an uh, agree that is a different thing that financially a person uh, can be happy even if he doesn't has lot of money and he cannot be happy even uh, having a lot of money but at least you know the basic necessity like the house the uh, the food and like you know basic things basic necessities are fulfilled that that is also a peaceful state okay a person who is working very hard and not able to give food to his family do you think that person will be very uh, healthy happiness is a different thing children happiness is a different thing healthy i am talking about so healthy why because he the person is not getting balanced diet the person is not getting good food isn't it so we are talking about what children we are talking about reproductive health reproductive health of a of a what children reproductive health of a obviously it will be female reproductive health of a female or in general if we talk about okay so just we will write reproductive health okay so when a person can be uh, when we can say that this person is healthy when a person is in a total uh, good uh, peaceful condition okay which kind of a peaceful condition that means he is physically fit he is mentally fit okay his social terms are very strong and all these conditions which keep that person away from the frustration all these uh, things which keep that person away from irritation you know in fact the handicap if a person temporary also if he becomes handicap some problem is there in that body irritation level that frustration level get increased so we cannot say that that particular person is in good reproductive health when a female uh, see the female gives birth to child so for giving birth to a healthy child it is at most important that the condition of that female should be very good he should be uh, i'm so sorry she should be she should be in a very good uh, mental state obviously as the body will go many changes that female should have good uh, physical like physically also she should be healthy mentally she should be in a peaceful condition okay she should be having good terms personally isn't it in the family 
if a couple who is having lot of issues among each other that condition won't be uh, considered as a healthy reproductive health or the healthy person it won't be considered though that couple won't be considered as a healthy uh, you know won't be healthy because there are certain issues which are going on so how can we define this what i need to write over here health is a state okay health is a state of complete physical okay mental and social okay children just now what we have discussed health is a state of complete means what should be there physically the person should be fit mentally the person should be fit and even should have good social terms so social well being of a person okay so what is it children health is a state of complete physical mental and social well being of a person okay so until unless a person is physically fit we cannot say that the person is healthy mentally also we cannot say that the person is healthy and social well being social well being means the person should share good relationship or the person should be able to complete his basic necessities isn't it that if the person is lacking in all this thing then also the person won't, uh, won't be able to be healthy okay so we are talking about reproductive health how can we define it health is a state of complete physical mental and social well being of a person and what are the areas which affects the person should be free from disease okay the person should be free from disease should like when i say handicap means what the person should not have any kind of you know like uh, any kind of physical disability may be temporary or physical okay so then the person can be known as healthy he is free from any kind of diseases okay then mental tension or mental problems okay mental problem is different and ment like tension is different mental problem can be regarding some uh, diseases mental diseases okay now what can what can be the fourth one children away from social tension okay so when a person is free from disease from social and physical tension okay mentally also he doesn't has any problem and in this condition a person can be what we can say that the person is healthy okay now to have such kind of health what is required best thing is good food isn't it good food is required uh, for everyone children whether we talk about the uh, the children who are like you know in a growing age maybe during adolescence maybe when the person uh, is when the when the female is there i'm talk if i talk about female when the female is pregnant so a good diet is required isn't it so what kind of a diet is required children a balanced diet is required isn't it uh, even for the uh, cases which i have discussed like adolescents then maybe when we talk about the pregnant woman maybe in the growing age a child or a female obviously need balanced diet now what is balanced diet a diet which contains all the nutrients in proper proportion it is known as balanced diet now what all are the nutrients which has to be present in a diet carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins minerals even isn't the even the water if 
all these nutrients are in proper proportion then it is known as balanced diet children you know typical indian uh, food okay typical indian diet is considered as a most i was about to say most like it is a balanced diet why it is a balanced diet because we include everything chapati sabji dal and chawal that means rice dal chapati it includes everything carb and even the curd we have isn't it so it it has everything what carbohydrate is there fat is there mineral is there proteins are there so a typical indian diet because in indian diet even we have uh, sweets also isn't it so a typical indian diet is a balanced diet okay so which kind of diet when we talk about to attain to be healthy okay to be healthy to be healthy one needs to take balanced diet okay to be healthy one needs to take balanced diet now what is balanced diet children when all the nutrients are present in proper proportion then it is said to be a balanced diet now what are the things which has to be there in the proper proportion what are the nutrients so carbohydrates okay proteins vitamins then fats okay carbohydrates proteins vitamins fats then what will be there like vitamins and minerals i can write together also children okay so i can write roughage and water so if the diet contains all these nutrients in proper proportion then it is said to be what diet which diet it is said to be balanced diet okay so we are talking about reproductive health if you forget about reproductive health and talk about normal health also in a normal condition also a person needs to have a balanced diet in uh, if the balanced diet is not there if a person doesn't take balanced diet he will definitely be you know, suffering from uh, many kind of problems okay because to like body is what a machine to run a machine properly proper fuel is required and for our body our fuel is what food and which kind of food do we uh, get energy from the junk food once a while if we have junk food for a change it's okay for just for the sake of a tongue but when we talk about body energy then the best is balanced diet what is balanced diet okay a diet which contains all the nutrients in the proper proportion is known as balanced diet what should be there in the balanced diet carbohydrates proteins fats minerals roughage water all this should be there and that to be in the proper proportion then only it can be known as a balanced diet now what are the things which we should do to keep ourselves healthy and fit what are the uh, like uh, what kind of food like here we have discussed that we should have balanced diet but then what are the things which need to be avoided we'll talk about that so please note this 
so that I can just wrap this and can move to the next topic. So, we will just continue this topic because as there was no place to write. So, when we talk we were talking about the balanced diet. So, what are the things children which should be included in the diet along with the balanced diet? Like uh, in the balanced diet what are the things which has to be included? So, obviously lots of uh, so when a child is in adolescent stage what are the basic requirement for the body that we were discussing in the balanced diet ok. Now like in this stage it is very very important for the child to take milk because milk contains lot of calcium ok and uh, leafy vegetables should be taken fruits should be uh, uh, you know it should be there uh, the child should eat fruits lot of fruits should be there in the diet then uh, like you know it is very very good to have different kind of juices different kinds of soup it again uh, affects your body in different ways positively. If you take soup different different soup so again it increases it increase the diet ok the diet is increased the the digestion the digestive system works properly your body is getting nutrients properly ok. So, what are the things which has to be there see first of all the plenty of milk should be taken fruits should be taken vegetables all leafy vegetables should be taken ok and different juices and soups should be taken ok. Now, along with that children personal hygiene is also very very important ok. Personal hygiene means what how to keep yourself clean the way how you keep yourself. First of all personal hygiene is also important that because first of all to keep yourself fit and fine ok. Second thing when you uh, you know when you talk to someone the thing which is seen first is your appearance is not it. So, if you are not uh, clean you are not like you know you are not following all hygienic uh, ways you know then how you will be able to present yourself properly. So, to you should be presentable is not it you should be you should feel happy. So, for that it is also very important to keep yourself clean. So, how can we keep ourselves clean and during uh, when we talk about girls basically children every time every person should be uh, you know should follow all the cleanliness habits ok. Whether the person is a child an adult or an old uh, he is a old person ok or when we talk about adolescent stage or any stage when we talk about menstrual cycle it is not that the female is in menstrual cycle that time only that girl has to follow hygienic habits. In journal also it should be part of your daily life you know then you do not have to remember that yeah this time we have to be hygienic no it is not like that you do not have to be hygienic according to certain periods you have to be hygienic and you have to be always. So, what has to be done what very journal please keep yourself very clean your hair should be trimmed nails should be trimmed is not it uh, your dress should be your clothes should be well washed inners has to be changed toilets should be very clean you should use only clean toilets is not it at public places western toilets should be avoided because you know whenever the contact is there. So, uh, when we talk about western toilet contact is there between the body and that uh, western toilet. So, it increases the chances of uh, you know the of getting different kind of diseases that should be avoided. So, uh, when we talk about personal hygiene these are the points which has to be taken care of, but the thing which I am telling is whether uh, you are a boy or a girl or when we talk about an adult person or an old person one has to follow hygienic habit ok. One has to be clean one has to keep themselves clean. How can one keep themselves clean by just following all these small small things is not it brushing twice it seems silly 
but I know I come in contact with way many students but you know sometimes the students you know sometimes like you know it happens like the, the you know the person can like you know the person is thinking but we cannot say anything why because even uh, this is a sign of you know uncleanliness you should clean your uh, uniform your dresses regularly once which is used should not be again uh, you know taken in the use so it will also keep you free from any kind of smell okay so this is all about personal hygiene uh, so I'll just write few points I do not think actually that it has to be written that we need to brush should take bath should change the inners okay should wear clean clothes okay we'll not write this it's of no use to write like we all know this just has to bring these things in practice okay then what else a very important thing then toilets should be very uh, like it should be in good condition when we talk about our homes and whenever when we talk about outside the clean toilets should be used okay western toilets should be avoided because it increases the chance of uh, the transfer of germs okay so this is all is there how can we keep ourselves healthy fit and fine okay so now we'll move to the next topic what is the next topic children how can we keep ourselves fit the next part is exercise to have balanced diet is very very important to keep ourselves clean is very very important but then to again to do exercise to exercise is again very very important how can one ex like which are the exercises what exercises should a person follow see it depends it varies from the it varies from person to person it depends upon the age it depends upon the choice it depends upon the convenience it depends upon the uh, your body uh, need okay so when we talk about adolescence there is no certain uh, like limitations are not there when we talk about physical limitations isn't it when we talk about an old person that we cannot say that person to run but when we talk about adolescent stage then the child is in condition that he can do various kind of exercises like running swimming okay playing uh, different games like cricket badminton okay then maybe aerobics even the meditation is very good uh, way to keep uh, healthy then skipping dancing all these are just different ways to keep ourselves fit which has to be done isn't it which has to be done so this is how one can keep uh, like you know when I talk personally so the person can keep himself fit and fine so we'll just write a bit about this so what are the things which has to be taken care instead of writing reproductive health now we will talk about what in general how can we keep ourselves healthy so what are the points first of all should what should be done should take balance diet okay should include what should include leafy vegetables milk fruits okay leafy vegetables milk fruits juices soups okay this all should be there in the all this should uh, sh all this should be there in the food okay now should exercise okay should exercise what are the different ways of exercising maybe running okay then maybe 
डांसिंग एरोबिक्स वॉकिंग साइकिलिंग जॉगिंग स्विमिंग स्किपिंग स्किपिंग ओके दिस इज पी स्किपिंग ओके सो इवन मेडिटेशन सो ऑल दीज आर डिफरेंट वेज टू कीप आर सेल्व हेल्दी ओके बैलेंस डाइट शुड बी इंक्लूडेड एंड अलॉन्ग विद दैट लिफी वेजिटेबल्स लाइक लॉर ऑफ लिफी वेजिटेबल हैज टू बी टेकन इंक्लूडेड इन द डाइट मिल्क शुड बी टेकन सूप्स एंड जूसेस शुड बी टेकन देन शुड एक्सरसाइज इट कैन बी इन एनी वे इट कैन बी इन एनी वे मे बी रनिंग साइकिलिंग स्विमिंग प्लेइंग बेट बॉल प्लेइंग बेट बॉल ओ माई गॉड प्लेइंग बैडमिंटन आई वॉज सपोज टू से ओके प्लेइंग बैडमिंटन प्लेइंग क्रिकेट सो ऑल दिस थिंग्स हैज टू बी देयर शुड बी इंक्लूडेड ओके नाउ देन वॉट इज द नेक्स्ट थिंग पर्सनल क्लीनलीनेस cleanly ness okay so what is there in the personal cleanliness one should be what should brush twice take bath daily okay hair and nail should be trimmed okay hair and nail should be trimmed isn't it then inners should be changed inners should be changed daily oh ho inners should be changed daily okay then what else has to be done children uh should change uniform or clothes okay daily what is happening again again i have to rub okay so this has to be done this is all personal cleanliness clean toilets clean toilets has to be used clean toilets should be used okay western at public places at public places western toilets should be avoided okay so western toilets should be avoided and all these things which we have discussed earlier so these all has to be taken care of so balanced diet or including all these things like vegetables and milk and fruit and juices then doing exercise like running and walking and swimming and all this thing and to keep themselves uh, not themselves to keep ourselves clean all this will bring us to where to a good health will keep us healthy will keep us happy is it it so this is about what are the things which we has we have to take care of so we'll continue the topic and now we'll discuss about what has to be uh you know like there are certain things uh, children in this age when we talk about adults and when we talk about teens there are certain things which need to be avoided children which really need to be avoided so what are the things which need to be avoided 
see uh, when we talk about this age there is a different kind of thinking emotions are quite you know different like the child is in different world only and I understand that in this age there is a word which comes into existence that is peer pressure what is the meaning of peer pressure sort of a friend pressure like you know particular like my friend has got this branded mobile I need that that the comparison that branded shoes I need that ok then in this comparison sometimes the wrong things also comes in the mind you know this is the stage when a child is neither in a uh, he is not an adult ok and even the child is not a child is not it he is in between he is in transition period he is coming from he is just trying like he is passing one stage and he is in between the stage between two stages he is in between that stage between childhood and adulthood is not it so this stage this period is sometimes full of lot of confusion sometimes full of lot of depression I should not say depression but uh, the child lacks self confidence sometimes the child becomes over confident you know this is the age where we will you will get we I or you will get a different kind of examples take talk about yourself sometimes you are very low sometimes very happy sometimes very angry get frustrated on little things sometimes ok it is open minded ok things are easy so in this period actually there can be chance to be you know get addicted to wrong things now what are these wrong things and how one can get addicted to like take the example of the drugs ok now what are the drugs children first of all what is the meaning of drugs drugs means when certain chemicals are used other than medication ok all these things which are used in drugs ok many are things I should say are used in the medicine also but that way is different that quantity is different is not it I am not saying the all that all the things are being used like I am talking many chemicals when I talk about is not it so like take the example of the cough syrup alcohol is there is not it but then again the ways are different the means are different the reason is different the quantity is different is not it so uh, you know there are chances to slip on such kind of slippery grounds means if uh, you know sometimes it may happen like one of your friend gives you know like says oh I am taking this it is very interesting it gives a different kind of fun ok it gives a different kind of joy happiness so that is there but it is just for once and remember trust me child if you take it once your body will demand for more ok when you take it once your body will demand for more and more and more and more and then that is known as addiction that is known as addiction this addiction can be of any type maybe alcohol maybe any kind of drug maybe uh, like you know maybe for nicotine like cigarettes cigarettes have a lot of nicotine so any kind of chemical which is used other than medication are what are called as drugs why we need to stay away from this because it impacts it affects it destroys it ruins the whole of it can ruin whole of the life of the consumer is not it because it affects nervous system it affects respiratory system it can give several kind of dangerous diseases so this has to be taken care of I will just write few points about this first I will just clean this 